Welcome to the Dubai Navigator. My name is Lucas Vincent and in this video we're covering Airbnbs and vacation rentals in Dubai and the UAE and specifically the regulations and pitfalls you need to be aware of when setting up your own vacation rental. Thank you for watching. Dubai is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world, with more than a million foreign visitors coming to Dubai every single month. As a result, the vacation rental market in the city has grown rapidly in recent years, with Airbnb being one of the most popular platforms for hosts to advertise their properties. While running an Airbnb in Dubai can be a lucrative business opportunity, there are several pitfalls that hosts should be aware of. In this video, we will explore some of the challenges and risks associated with running an Airbnb in Dubai. Licensing and Regulations Dubai has specific laws and regulations that govern the operation of vacation rentals and hosts must comply with these rules. Before listing your property on Airbnb or similar platforms, you must obtain a license from the Department of Tourism and Commerce Marketing DTCM. This license requires you to meet certain standards such as providing a safe and secure environment for guests, ensuring the cleanliness of the property and having appropriate insurance coverage. Failure to obtain a license or comply with these regulations can result in fines or even legal action. In addition to licensing, there are other regulations that hosts must be aware of. For example, short-term rentals are only allowed in certain areas of Dubai, and some buildings may have specific rules or restrictions on vacation rentals. It is important to research the laws and regulations before listing your property on Airbnb to avoid any legal issues. Restrictions by homeowner associations and building management Villas that are part of residential communities as well as apartment complexes may have homeowner associations that outright ban short-term rentals. Even if there's no outright ban on putting your property on Airbnb, there may be other restrictions. Certain properties restrict access to community facilities like gyms, swimming pools and beaches to long-term residents with a specially issued community photo ID. These can only be issued to owners or tenants with a long-term tenancy contract. Short-term visitors do not qualify and as a result may not use any of the community facilities, greatly reducing the attractiveness of the property to prospective guests. Competition and market situation Dubai has a large and competitive vacation rental market with thousands of properties listed on Airbnb and other platforms. This can make it challenging for hosts to stand out and attract bookings, particularly during slow travel periods. Additionally, the market may become saturated with too many properties available for rent and not enough demand from travelers. To succeed in this market, hosts need to differentiate themselves and offer unique and high quality properties and experiences. This can include providing exceptional customer service, offering amenities that other properties do not have and pricing competitively. Security and safety concerns Security and safety are major concerns for both guests and hosts when it comes to vacation rentals. Hosts need to ensure that their properties are safe and secure for guests with appropriate locks, fire alarms and other safety features. They also need to be aware of potential security risks such as theft or damage to the property and take steps to mitigate these risks. Guests also have concerns about security and safety when staying in vacation rentals. They may be unfamiliar with the area and unsure about the security measures in place. Hosts can address these concerns by providing clear instructions on how to access the property and what security measures are in place. They can also offer tips on staying safe in the local area. Dubai apartment buildings have tight security. Security personnel is trained to spot unfamiliar visitors and ask them about their presence. If the building management restricts short-term rentals, Airbnb guests are likely to get caught and may be prevented from entering the property. Maintenance and cleaning Maintaining a vacation rental can be time-consuming and costly, particularly if you have multiple properties or a high turnover of guests. Hosts need to ensure that their properties are clean, well-maintained and fully functional for each guest. 
This includes regular cleaning, repairs and maintenance of appliances and fixtures. To manage these tasks, hosts may need to hire cleaning and maintenance staff or contractors, which can add to the cost of running the Airbnb. They also need to ensure that they have the necessary suppliers and equipment on hand to keep the property in good condition. Pricing and revenue management. Pricing is a key factor in the success of an Airbnb in Dubai. Hosts need to price their properties competitively, taking into account the local market, the competition and the seasonality of travel. They also need to manage their revenue effectively, ensuring that they are generating enough income to cover their expenses and make a profit. However, pricing and revenue management can be complex and challenging, particularly for hosts who are new to the vacation rental market. Hosts need to understand how to set prices, adjust prices based on demand and seasonality, and manage their occupancy to maximize revenue. They may need to invest in revenue management tools or software or work with a professional property management company to optimize their pricing strategy. Taxation and financial obligations. Running an Airbnb in Dubai also comes with tax and financial obligations that hosts must be aware of. While there are no traditional income taxes in Dubai, there are tourism taxes. Hosts are required to pay taxes on their rental income and must register with the Federal Tax Authority to obtain a tax registration number. Failure to pay taxes or register with the FDA can result in penalties and fines. In addition to tourism taxes, hosts also need to manage their financial obligations, such as paying utility bills and insurance premiums. They may also need to set aside funds for repairs and maintenance as well as for unexpected expenses. Here at the Dubai Navigator, we develop legal strategies that allow you to relocate your residence and business to the UAE, make tax-optimized investments in properties and stocks, and draft safe international estate plans to protect your global assets. Visit our website, thedubainavigator.com, to access free articles on tax and investment issues in Dubai and the UAE. Thank you for watching. Guest communication and management. Effective communication with guests is crucial for running a successful Airbnb in Dubai. Hosts need to be responsive to guest inquiries, provide clear instructions on how to access the property and offer support during the guest's stay. They also need to manage guest expectations and resolve any issues or complaints promptly and professionally. This can be challenging, particularly for hosts who have multiple properties or who are new to the vacation rental market. Hosts may need to invest in communication tools or work with a property management company to handle guest communication and management. Outsourcing. If you do not reside in Dubai or do not have the time to regularly engage with guests, organize cleanings, etc., it may be easier to hire an all-around short-term rental service provider. Depending on the company, they may organize everything from furnishing the apartment to putting it on online platforms and maximizing revenues. In return, they usually get a share of the revenue. There are many such firms out there and it is important to take the time to compare them and ensure they are solvent, have a good reputation and provide more value than they cost in commissions. We cover service firms in detail in our Dubai Property Strategy Coaching. Check our website thedubainavigator.com for more details. High Seasonality Seasonality is not unique to Dubai. Many cities have high and low visitor seasons. However, there are also many cities with low fluctuations in short-term rental demand, such as New York or Los Angeles. Dubai, on the other hand, is highly seasonal. December to March is by far the busiest season and you'll likely hit 80-90% to 90 occupancy levels during those months. The summer months of June to September are difficult. If your property is located in a tourist-heavy area like Palm Jumeirah, you'll struggle to meet occupancy levels of even 50% during the summer months. Location, location, location. Dubai is one of the world's most diverse cities. It attracts millions of beach visitors, but is also a global business hub with regionally leading trade shows and conferences. 
Tourist and business activities, however, tend to take place in very different areas of the city. You will need to choose whether to focus on the highly seasonal tourist market and set up an Airbnb in a tourist-heavy area or focus on the less seasonal business market and base your property closer to conference centers and offices. There are also many areas in Dubai that make little sense for either of the two visitor segments. We offer in-depth cash flow based analysis of different property types and monetization strategies through our services on our website. Check out our website at the dubainavigator.com. Conclusion Running an Airbnb in Dubai can be a lucrative business opportunity, but it also comes with several challenges and risks. Hosts need to be aware of the licensing and regulatory requirements, competition and market situation, security and safety concerns, maintenance and cleaning, pricing and revenue management, taxation and financial obligations, and guest communication and management. To succeed in this market, hosts need to differentiate themselves, offer high-quality properties and experiences, and provide exceptional customer service. They may also need to work with professional property management companies or invest in tools and technology to manage their properties effectively. Thank you for watching.